we've decided to provide a carefully designed innovative solution that will ease the daily gridlock that we currently experience by commuters. On the 26th of January 2022, a 3.9 kilometer multi billion naira link bridge was flagged off in Lagos by the executive governor of Lagos State in order to ease traffic congestion in the state and make life easy and better for motorists and its citizens. The aim behind this acronic link bridge is to ease the burden of commuters and the congest perennial traffic around the capital city of the state and its environment. Fast forward to 2023, the governor and his team decided to visit the site to see the level of work done so far on this project. See what this has open up to is that this is an economic development and we're changing the face of traffic management we're changing the face of commuting in Lagos and we're changing the face of access to modern infrastructure roads and development this link bridge is projected to be completed and commissioned by second or third quarter of year 2024 i hope this project is still on track i'm happy with the level of work that um, we've seen thus far, we're still on track with the commissioning, uh, with the completion rather. We're still hoping that um, by the second quarter next year, towards the third quarter, they should finish this entire um, road construction so that it can, we can hand it over to the citizens. So, in June 2024, I was curious to visit the project site to see for myself the level of work done so far on this project. I will appreciate if you subscribe to the channel and give this video a like. Thank you. So I'm driving down to the construction site now just to show you guys the latest update of work done on the project so far. So I'm driving down. I just passed through the traffic, Maryland traffic. So I'm heading to the construction site now. After driving for about 15 minutes, I arrived very close to the construction site to further my review about this project. Okay, right now I'm on Island Road, inward of the Link Bridge, and I'm heading to the site. So behind me is a CV coming in from Island Road, and um, you're heading to around Opebi Link Bridge. So let's keep going and to get to the site of the construction. So that's where we are heading to. So as you can see, some of the street lights of the road has been fixed. So we are still heading to the site to see work done so far. But currently on inward uh, Allen, I see you coming from Allen, some of the street lights have been fixed and some of the part of the road has been, you know, completed. The work has been done here. So let's keep going. After seeing the work done so far, this reminds me of how the project looked like before June 2024. Let's take a look at how the project looked like before so that we can all understand the efforts and competency Julius Bega has put together in making sure this project is completed and commissioned as at win view. So personally, I am really impressed with the level of work done so far on getting to the site and I'm impressed. I am very happy with the level of work done so far. They are really working and this job is really neat and let me know what you think in the comment section of this video. On getting to the site, I find out that a lot of serious work is ongoing on this project and I'm very impressed about the work done so far on this bridge compared to the last time I was here getting here is that Julius Bega really pay attention to details. The road is very clean, neat. The section of the road that's been completed is very clean. You know, the street light is fixed already. I like the fact that Julius Bega they really pay attention to details. So, and I can assure Lagosians and Nigeria that after this road is completed, we will all enjoy this road. The Okwebi Mende Link Bridge, upon completion, will be a major relief for commuters, averting traffic gridlock at Okwebi, Mende, Maryland, Ojota, and Mobolaji Bank Anthony Road. Once completed, the new road will be opened into Ojota Aziz in Koshofe, diverting traffic from Okwebi U-turn and connecting to Ikorodu Road via the 
intersection that will be constructed under the Udo Yalaru Bridge in Mende. So this is one of the reasons I say Lagos need all the follow. Why Lagos is busy constructing road, constructing bridge, constructing flyover in the states just to make life easy for its citizen. Lagos did not stop there. Lagos still go further to create other means of transportation like rail. For example, the red line rail starting from Oigo to Agbado just to make life easy for Lagosian. And now Lagos is looking at connecting to other states. Now, not just only red line. Lagos still went ahead to connect the mainland of Lagos to the island of Lagos with the blue line metro rail. This is why I say Lagos lead or the follow. Eko Nibajeo Obajeti. This new road is being built on extremely challenged soil condition with soil pet research depth of 20 meters below existing ground. This necessitates massive sand filling to create a temporary walking platform. The road will be supported by 530 meter and 110 meter long bridge and 50 meter long mechanical stabilized earth wall approach section. Construction of this bridge requires the application of 30 meter long precasted beam with genotexture mechanical stabilized earth ramp, ball pipe with diameter of 1500 millimeter and a depth of 40 meter inside the swamp using a spiral door solution as permanent casting. Let's know what you think about this project in the comment section. Okwebi Mendelink Bridge is being constructed by Julius Berger and it's a 4.52 kilometer long bridge with approach road across the swampy land area between Okwebi and Mende axis of Lagos. This project conceived over 20 years ago as a solution to traffic congestion within the Ikeja Ojota axis of Lagos. Okwebi Mende Ojota Link Bridge project possess enormous construction challenges that only a company with right experience and expertise like Julius Berger can overcome. What do you think about this project? Let us know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about this project in the comment section below. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe, like and also share. And to my returning subscriber, thank you. I will see you in the next video. Peace.